Hello and welcome to episode 67 of series 4 of Master League Story Mode. Oh my god, I'm nervous. Seriously, I I'm actually already sweating from the palms, which is the worst sort of sweat you can get before you're about to play a big game. It's not ideal, obviously. And, uh, well, you can understand why I'm so nervous. And you can see Kareem Diakra there in the picture. League title is now out of reach, but one thing that is still just about within reach is a Europa League final place. A potentially Europa League final trophy with Claremont. We've still got the Coupe de France to play for as well. We'll have that in the next episode. But yeah, we've come a long, long way to this. I just did a little bit of the maths. For those of you who've watched this entire series all the way through, you have watched 22 hours of Master League Story Mode just in this series. 67 episodes, roughly 20 minutes per episode. Yeah. Yeah. I think I've done the maths right there. Either way, it's a hell of a lot of hours. However you uh, chop it up. So I'm sure you, like me, are feeling very nervous today. <sighs> oh, right. Come on. We need a good looking team today. Let's see how everyone's getting on. We really want that front three to be on good form. They're not... That's not good. Oh, dearie me. Okay, so we'll, we'll see who maybe... Could, oh, Mitrovic on a blue. Surely not. Sure. No, no, no I, can't, I couldn't. I couldn't. Toure on a blue, though. That is interesting. Uh, we'll definitely bring him in for Toure there. We'll have a look and see what we're going to do once we've got everyone we're likely to play in here. I guess we want to keep Berahino on the bench. Maybe for that last-ditch goal. Hmm... Got some tired legs as well. Passetto, would he be the one to get us that last minute goal? I don't know if he would. He is on a green arrow though. Masunda though provides electric pace. I think we'll keep him there and we'll go through and have a look. Now this back line is looking tired. Bernardoni on a downward arrow. We couldn't bring in Legali for this, could we? It absolutely wrecks our team spirit though. Takes us down to 88. It's a six point drop in team spirit. We want to keep the team spirit up for this one. Back two, Holgate and Zags both tied. We've got to bring in Decore, I think, for one of these. And I think we're going to bring it in for big Zags. That keeps us at 95. That's fine. Ruben Duarte, Alcibiadi have to stay as they are. In Cham, got to play in Cham. Benassa, mm, Benassa or Toure. I think for Team Spirit, we're going to have to go with Benassa. And then we lose three Team Spirit, bringing in Hatem Ben Arfa. Wellington Nem's been okay. I think we're going to have to go with that. We can't play Sibachu in this game. At a stretch, we could maybe bring in Ray Moore in or Masunda out on the right even. Is this a time to give him his, well, his first start in a long, long time? I prefer a right-footed player down that right-hand side. I think we're going to have to go with it. This could be a big, big mistake. And Caramo on a downward arrow. Well, we're out of options when it comes to a striker. Did have some suggestions that maybe Ben Asser could play at attacking midfield. Instead of Ben Arthur. Ben Arthur's not been great. How does that do if we put Torre in? Where are we? 88 there. That's too low. No, that's too low. We can't We can't risk that. We're going to have to stick with Ben Arthur. We'll stick with 90. We don't want to go below 90 in a big game like this. So there we have it. That is going to be the team that needs to score goals today. Let's take a look at Ajax. Well, they've got a very strong squad starting today. They've got Kasper Dolberg starts. The youngster already up to 83. Cliver on one side. Cerny on the other. What a front three that is. De Jong in the centre, creative genius, and then, uh, well, at least St. Graven isn't playing. He was very, very good in the first game. He's not starting at centre-back or left-back. And De Litt as well, not starting. Interesting, they've got a great goalkeeper, obviously, 80 rated. This is going to be difficult. Come on, Claremont! So someone asked me in the comments, how much Pez do I get to play in a week? Outside of this recording, very, very little is the answer. And actually, to set the scene, I've just come in from work, straight in from the commute, straight into this game. I really would like some time to practice. I'd love some warm-up games, but that's not how we do things here. And also, I simply don't have the time. So we're straight into the uh, biggest game of Kareem Diakra's Claremont career. Ben Arthur, Masunda both starting today. We need big performances from them. They fail to impress in general. Oh, I mean, the, the significance is even more so in that we pretty much know that Kareem Diakra is going to be moving on. So we'd love to win something. To leave Claremont, leave her legacy intact. Oh, and a Europa League title would be absolutely insane for this side. Can we pull something out of the bag? Well, we know they've already got a goal. But get a goal back and then we are in the driving seat. Then a goal for us. A second goal would see us ahead on away goals. 
If we can get into that position, then we're laughing. But this Ajax side, full of great young talent, is going to be a big, big blocker in our attempt to get to the final. It's a great stadium here in Holland. Let's do it. Come on, Ale Clemon. Oh, and Cham gets the interception, but then loses it. Dolberg somehow gets away from Holgate there. I don't know how. He seemed to just apparate through Holgate there. Holgate surely was in a good position to win that ball back. That's that's no good. That's weak. Poor start from Holgate. Can't be allowing Dolberg anywhere near that much space. It's going to be Hatem Ben Arfa to take this one. First corner of the game for Claremont. A few big men to aim for. Ben is going to jump for this one. Masunda can keep it alive. Duarte into Ben Asa. A little back heel into Alcibiade. Curls it. Wow. Not as far off as you might expect from uh, a right back curling one in with his left. First chance of the game there for Claremont. That's well worked. Now Ben Asa into Yang Karamo. Wide to Masunda. Little chip ball in. Is blocked. Oh, and somehow we don't get to that one. And now we could be caught out here as Cerny brings it forward. Lots of space for him. Dolberg to aim for in the box and Cham has come across. He's got back well. Kasper Dolberg now doesn't take the shot. Goes back out. Still danger here though. De Jong. A great pass with the ball. Finds another De Jong. Oh no, Kolb. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fuck. No. That is a, the worst possible start here. How did that happen? It's a great run from De Jong. Bernardoni punched it away. Holgate slow to react there. Dolberg with an easy finish. Got a lot to do now, lads. Feltman into Dolberg. Turns. Oh, Bernardoni. Holgate just not able to get close to Kasper Dolberg. I think we're going to have to put Decore on to man mark him. Because Holgate is having problems. Justin Cliver now inside of Duarte. Good ball in. Oh, what? How is that possible? Dolberg, excellent header. And this time, Decore has been given the job of man marking him. Just couldn't get ahead of him. Bernardoni beaten. And our dream's now surely over. We need three goals here to find our way back into this one. We'll need a goal certainly in this first half if we're going to get anything out of it. Masunda. Are we regretting playing him yet? Ben Arthur turns away from De Jong. Just to put a ball into Koyalapu. Veltman easily. Easily deals with that, though. Seconds left here in this half. Can we find something here? Is Masunda to take on Van Dykes? Turns away again. That's lovely work. Puts it up looking for Jan Karamo. And Cham gets to it. Alcibiade far post looking for Goodwin Koyalapu. And the uh, shot off target. The acrobatic overhead kick would have been exactly what we needed to go in at the half. But yeah, that we have yet to have a shot on goal. Ajax are absolutely dominating us. So far, they've been by far the better side. We can't really complain about that. All we can do is go out in the second half and try and score three goals. I just can't see it happening. Not a single shot on target in that first half. This is turning into an absolute nightmare. They've been, they've been impenetrable. But also, every time they get the ball, so dangerous. And Kasper Dolberg, neither Holgate nor Decore can get close to him. Nice work from Duarte. Looks for the ball over the top into Jan Karamo. He doesn't win it, but it does fall to Charlie Musunda here. Where's that pace? There it is, away from De Jong. Cuts it back. Koyalapu. That was not the ball that was meant to go to fucking Karamo. Awful. Sunder does well. Ben Arthur into Yang Karamo. Looking for the 1 2 with Koyalapu. It doesn't fall, but Karamo gets to it. It's fouled, surely, there. Referee. Ref. That was awful. Oh, Dolberg. Making an absolute mockery of this Claremont defence. Now Justin Kleibert steps back in. Lovely ball. Looking for Cerny. And there's, there's the third. Shitting hell. Oh. Not only are we going out here, but we're going to go out in some style. <laughs> Kleibert easy back inside. And this time it's Alcibiade who couldn't track his man. We're getting pulled apart here. This is embarrassing. We need to at least save a bit of pride. So triple sub here, just to try and get something from this one. Sibachu, Moore, and Wellington Nemon. I can't believe how badly we're doing this. <laughs> this is laughably bad. Four goals needed here. Sibachu can't win the header. That's what you've been brought on to do, mate. 
Duarte! No! Oh my fucking god, you can't even do a throw in anymore! Dolberg, still too strong for us. Elsa Sibiadi shows way too much to Eunice. Eunice inside, back to Justin Cliver. Saves and cleared just about. Just about. Benassa can't win it back. Oh, this is turning into an absolute rout here. Never have we been so embarrassed. Dolberg once again just bouncing off players. Can't get close to him. And they're keeping the ball here. They're really taking the piss. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, Holgate. Is that a hat trick there for Kasper Dolberg? Yes, it is. Didn't play in the first leg. And uh, they only managed to score one. And they were clearly missing him. We just couldn't, we couldn't get the ball back off him. And that is unfortunate for Holgate. It's not an own goal because it probably was going in anyway. Fucking hell. To Batshu into Emre Moore. Will there be a consolation goal here? Moore steps back. Finds it to Sibachu. No celebrations. No. No celebrations. No. No, stop. No. No. And there we have it. Wow. That is probably our worst performance. Easily our most disappointing one. I can't believe it. We crash out. In spectacular fashion. I'm absolutely gutted. Absolutely gutted. Ajax were incredible. Fairly similar possession stats. We weren't even able to get close to their goal, let alone get shots away. Only two shots on target. The one goal means absolutely nothing. We were still well in this tie. Well in it. But Dolberg was incredible. Amazing hat-trick from him. I just don't know what to say. Hopefully this just doesn't ruin our confidence so much. That we throw the whole rest of the season away. That could easily, easily happen. So we would have gone on to play Spurs. And they handed out a battering of their own to Anderlecht. I guess we've got to know our place, haven't we? Although we are competing for Liga. And I guess Ajax are an airy division team. Maybe not the highest calibre. But we were outclassed in every area of the pitch. But the fat shake's got something to say about it. Yeah, we know that it would be one more win for the final, you fucking idiot. Why, why would you even tell us that? We we're aware of how the competition works. So Holgate there says he's made peace with it. There's Kasper Dolberg <laughs> commiserating him after the game. Seems to have a massive hand. Massive hand. Well, I've not made fucking peace with it. Maybe we should have played Mitrovic. I don't think we should have started Musunda. I think that was a mistake. Maybe we should have gone for Ben Asser attacking midfield. I don't know. We just didn't have any chances. We couldn't create anything at all. See how we're looking for this one. Rapidly not caring now about the rest of the season. <sighs> Musunda, I mean, he played. He was pretty He was pretty poor, really. Um, ben Arthur couldn't influence the game at all. We were tied at the back. Bernardoni was tied as well. His form's now dipped right down. Maybe we should have played Ligali, but we were concentrating on team spirit. Bring in a few different players here. The league is pretty much done for us. I don't even think we're going to get Champions League at this point. Tisserand in for uh, Ruben Duarte. He didn't have a great game, to be honest. We'll keep the front three as it is. Keep everything else as it is. I can't believe that. I can't believe this has happened. How could we limp to a finish this season after such an incredible start, after so many great performances? To end it like this just doesn't seem right. Mets, well, they've got Andrew Robertson and a few good players, but we should be beating them. But the way we're playing at the moment, who fucking knows? Let's go. Oh, I can't even bring myself to get excited now. The Coupe de France final just seems like a horrible thing hanging over our head. How badly are we going to get beaten in that one? Considering our recent performances, I would say quite badly. Caramo wants it into him in the box. Lovely take. Turns. Looks to curl here. <laughs> and that is indicative of the goal-scoring form we're in at the moment. Earlier in the season, and that would have been, at very least, would have troubled the keeper. But that is well high and well wide. We are in serious trouble when it comes to goals at the moment. They've dried up from every area. Cham does well there. And then Nem's first time ball into Koyalapu. Well, just about we kept in by the striker. Back into Tisseran now. Finds Caramo. Lovely first touch. Away from his man. Oh, and this time forcing a save. We really need him to find his shooting boots. Don't know what the kit man's been doing, but they seem to have hidden all the shooting boots recently. This first touch is delightful. And the shot is a good one. It's a good save in the end. 
And Chan with the outswinger here. Caramo's there. Oh, 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 and it's just come off the defender on the line. Closer. Torre wins it back. Wins the ball back to Tisserand. Koyalapu into Torre. Has to take his man on, but that's not his thing. Ah, oh, that's a mistake. Oh, that's a mistake as well. He's offside. No, he's not offside. Oh, play to the fucking whistle. Nothing is going right. Could have taken about five or six touches there. I just assume that was offside. We've been all over them. Not been able to create many chances, though. And the ones we have, we've spooned wide. Ah, oh, just this is... It's all going to end horribly, isn't it? For Claremont Foot this season. So many opportunities. All of them being squandered in front of our eyes. Oh, Sibiadi. Stretching his legs. Going to put a ball in. Looking for Goodwin Koyalapu. The header's there. It's blocked on the line. Caramo back to Wellington. Nem is an awful pass. No. Good header, Caramo. And now Sibiadi. Wants to see the run here from Jonathan Cafu. That's a good ball in. He's battling with Robertson. Cafu will get the shot away. Good save. Jam with the outswinger. Big Zags is there with the header. Oh, it's falling here, but not to one of our players. Ah, oh, and Koyalapu can't get to it. Torre now, though. Into Wellington Neb. Turns away from his man. And then away from another. Ah, just can't force our way through. Does feel like we're trying to force everything at the moment, and nothing is coming off. Toure out to Encham. Down the line into Alcibiadi. Seen a lot of the ball in this first half. Turns back inside. That's beautiful. Good cross. Caramo can't get it on target. Christ almighty. Alcibiadi now. We're running out of time. Nice ball over the top into the substitute, Charlie Musunda. Steps back away. All in looking for Wellington. Nah, and we're just not finding the right passes when needed. Toure. Oh, looks for Masunda. That was a nice idea. Get another go here. Pesetto. Asibiadi. Masunda slips in. Pesetto. Ball in. Oh! <laughs> Still the wrong ball every time. I can't believe this as well. <laughs> Still no goal. We just can't score. This seems to be a lid on the goal for Claremont at the moment. And this is just such a disappointing way for us to end the season. Only a shot on goal. One shot on goal. Can't believe it. Their keeper gets man of the match. I don't know how fair that is. We only have one shot on target. I don't know if that is fair. And, uh, well, even a win today would still have seen us three points behind Nice. Maybe with a similar goal difference. But it looks like now Champions League is also out of reach. It's going to come down purely to the Coupe de France final in the next episode. How has this happened? How has this been allowed to happen? All the good work dashed at the end of the season. And there we are, a little press conference. This is nice. Not seen this before. The captain Olivier and Cham and Kareem Diacre discussing how we don't seem to be able to score goals anymore, but we're looking at a tactic that involves not scoring any goals all the way until penalties. And obviously the fat shake. Says that it's a big target for us. Of course it is. Now go and get it. Well, it's Bordeaux in the final. We overcame PSG. Can we do it? Well, Kareen says we know what we need to do. Score a fucking goal would help. Oh, I can't believe this. So we've got Coupe de France final. And then we've got the final fixture. Yeah, final fixture. Champions League out of reach. All comes down to this. Massive last game. I'm just going to just just to get the excitement going. Gonna see what our form's looking like. Mm, okay. Could be could be better. Could be a lot better. At least they're not tired. Bordeaux are a good side. We can't win anything at the moment. I'd be amazed if we win this. Join me in the next episode to see if we can manage to chuck away the entire season. We've done a pretty good job of it today. With five matches without a win to end the season. That is insane. Oh my god, I'll see you in a bit.